All right, I'm showing you the book I'm about to read you. It's called Eating Fractions. Okay, and it's by Bruce McMillan. And I've shared a lot of books on my YouTube channel. Most of them are just really wonderful illustrated books that I love myself, but I'm actually a math teacher. And that's what I do <laughs> professionally. I teach third graders math right now. And we're working on fractions. And each week I let them have some independent choice work. And this week on our independent choice Padlet, I'm going to read you this book about eating fractions. And I'm going to ask my students to find some fractions, find some things they can eat that they can divide into equal sized pieces. And if you divide some food into equal sized pieces, you are changing, you're taking each piece becomes a fraction. Okay, so I want to read this book about these two um, young gentlemen who share some fractions um, and then talk to you about what you can do at home. If you're not in my class, you can still do this. Um, you can still learn about fractions. Fractions are wonderful things. Fractions are things that some of us adults are afraid of. You can't tell you how many other adults I talked to and they say, oh, fractions. I never did understand fractions in school. I don't like fractions. I don't know how they work. I can't remember. Um, but I tell my students, fractions are practical. Okay, fractions, as long as we have a whole that we've divided into equal pieces, we can call those pieces fractions. And each one of those pieces is a unit, and we can treat that unit like any other unit in math. Um, so, adults, kids, I hope you enjoy this book, and I hope you end up getting to eat some fractions yourself. So again, Eating Fractions by Bruce McMillan. It's not a very long book. So, it's got a couple of boys here that share some fractions. There's a dog that gets in and out of that book at different times too. And again, this is by Bruce McMillan. Um, and it starts off here with a banana. And in this banana, it says, it calls it a whole. That's the whole banana. And in the next picture, they're cutting that banana right down the middle to make two pieces. So what do you think we would call each of those pieces? Yeah, I think you're right. If you said halves, that's what we call them. And then in these little illustrations down below, they've written one half in each piece, one over two. The bottom number, which we call the denominator in a fraction, is always the total number of pieces. So there's two pieces. So each one is one out of two. They're halves. And of course, if you're having half a banana, it tastes pretty good and you can have some fun with it. So what comes next? Our whole this time, the whole thing looks like a muffin. Looks like that's like in a muffin tin. That's one of the muffins. And it looks like after they've cooked it, it looks like he's put, maybe I'm guessing that's honey. He's just drizzling some honey on it. That would taste good. Now how many pieces are they breaking that muffin into? They call these thirds because they're three pieces. And again, down below, they've got a picture of each one of those three pieces, a drawing with one third, one out of three for each piece. Now here, if you've got two boys and you've got three pieces, I don't think it's gonna be fair. One looks like one gets two and the other gets one. So what's our whole gonna be this time? Well, it's gonna be a whole piece of pizza. Not a whole piece of pizza, a whole pizza. And they're gonna cut that piece, that pizza into pieces like we do because they're going to share that pizza so let's see how many pieces they cut it into they cut it into fourths so that's four pieces and each single piece we call one over four or a fourth and again to be an exact fourth they have to be exactly the same size in this case when we're cutting up food we're not always making it exactly the same size it's not exactly an equal fraction, although we're try, we try to do our best. Here our hole has changed and now it is an, an ear of corn. So that's our one hole is our ear of corn. It looks like they've cut it into two pieces and they're boiling it up. So I think you know what we call each piece. What would each call each piece? You're right. We would call them halves. Each one is one half, one over two, or one out of two. And there's the fun part, eating up the corn. This hole, a little bit hard to guess what it is. It's round, 
on a cutting board there. They're getting some lettuce to put underneath it and that gives you a little hint because it's a salad. It's actually a, like a jello fruit salad. I think in the back of the book they call it a pear salad. But the important part is they're cutting it into three equal pieces and so we call those pieces thirds. And again down here they've written out in each drawing of the one of the three pieces that each one is one third, one out of three. Oh, having a little fun eating it. I think that might turn into a mess if you're feeding each other. Ah, uh, this one might be my favorite picture. Look at that. That's one whole pie. It looks like a strawberry pie. And I'm wondering how many pieces they're going to cut that whole pie into. Aha, they're cutting into four pieces. So we would call each, we would call it fourths, and each piece would be one fourth. Now that's a lot of pie. I don't know if all of those boys can eat both of those, especially if they've eaten all the rest of that before. Maybe their stomachs are hurting. Today in class we talked about candy bars and how you could candy bars sometimes come in sections and they could come in equal size sections and we talked about eating candy bars and potentially getting a belly ache but this is how they avoid the belly ache. They're just feeding the extra piece under the table to the dog. Have you ever done that? Oh, of course I never did although my sister used to feed her vegetables to the dog under the table to get away from eating them. That's the end of this book. I just want to show you the front page again to remind you. It's called Eating Fractions. They had a good time eating their fractions by Bruce McMillan. They've got some fractional pieces drawn around the sides. And on the back, there's that happy dog who got to eat the pie. So what I want you to do now is to get go in the kitchen. Um, find some food that you can either cut into equal size pieces to make them into fractions and talk about the side. What do you call each piece? Um, and then you can eat it. That's the fun part. Now, as I said, we were talking about candy bars and you know, like those Hershey bars that when you open them up, you can see they're all in equal little sections. You can do that and have some fun with it. Or you can do something like this. This is an orange, or in this case, it's a tangerine, just a small orange. I've already peeled it. But when you open it up, there's sections. So the question is, how many pieces are in this orange? So if I break it apart and start breaking out the pieces, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pieces. So I've got nine little slices of orange. They're not exactly the same size, so technically you might argue that they're not exactly fractional, but if we assume they're the same size and there are nine pieces, what would one piece be? What fraction of the orange? Well, it would be one over the number nine because there's nine total, so one ninth. So one ninth of the orange. So you can do that with your own. You could do it with an orange. You could cut up an apple, if you, especially if, you, if you're not good with a knife, get somebody to help you. Cut it into equal sized pieces and decide what fraction is each slice. Or again, you could do it with other types of food. For my class, I'm challenging you to do this. Take some pictures and share them with me on our free choice Padlet. And tell me what fraction each of those pieces are. Okay, and then you get to eat it. Which is probably the most fun thing about it. Hmm, this is a good orange. Tangerine. So, if you're in my third grade class, I want you to... Try this and have some fun with it. Maybe you can have a friend do it with you, somebody else in your family, and um, take some pictures and share what you learned about fractions. If you're not in my class, you can do it too. You just don't, you just don't have to send me a picture. Um, but I hope you enjoy your fractions, enjoy eating them. Um, hmm. How many pieces have I eaten? I've lost count. I have one, two, three, four, five, six pieces left. There were nine pieces at first, so how many pieces have I eaten? Nine take away, what is six? I could, I could count on from six, six, seven, eight, nine. So I've eaten three pieces already. If I've eaten three out of the nine pieces, what fraction did I eat? And if I've got six of the nine pieces left, what fraction is left? I'll let you think about that. 
as you do your own work with eating fractions. And I hope that you have enjoyed our book. I've enjoyed sharing it with you.